In this section, I want to talk to you about leadership and the relational character of Christ. I am of the opinion that you cannot lead people if you do not love people. And if you love your people, you want to be connected to them in a meaningful way. Relationship is so important when it gets to leadership. People want to be connected. In the time we are living, there are so many traps for us to become disconnected, while still feeling connected through so many different electronic platforms. If I ask people how they are doing, the standard answer is, it's crazy, we are busy, we don't have time. We also believe that the currency of life is not found in random scent, but it is found in time. And Brene Brown said it so correctly, in the time we are living, time is the new I love you in relationship. So as a leader, my question is, are you connected to your people? Do you check in with them regularly that they feel connected to you? And three easy questions you can ask your people is, how are you? What is on your table? And what do you need from me? How can I help you? And when you have time left, go back to the first question and ask people, how are you really doing? Slow down to find out what is going on at home, what is going on in the heart of the people that reports to you. I believe that as leaders, we are called to display the relational character of Christ by being connected to our people, and not just our people inside of the organization. I believe we are called to be connected to our customers. The greatest privilege of a leader is to guide and mentor people, and it brings such significance to our life. And I cannot think how a leader cannot block time out in their diaries to connect with their people. We sometimes spend more time correcting people than connecting with people. And when we correct without relationship and a desire to really listen and learn, there is limited impact and life change. We recently developed a process that takes groups of people through becoming intentional about relational connection. Because if you as a leader are connected to your people, the next one is that you connect your people to each other. What we did is once a month we paused from a transactional leadership space and created safe spaces where people can connect to each other on a relational level and speak about difficult subjects that might become a barrier in our ability to, to transform as leaders or as an organization or as a country, unless we stop and talk about it. We speak about relational connection. We speak about circles of belonging. We speak about the comparison trap and distorted perceptions. We speak about the dynamics of inclusion and exclusion and what is the character of transformed leaders? We speak about what is taking place in our hearts because as a man think in his heart so easy. And we speak about the giants that are shouting at all of us. The giants of fear, the giants of rejection, the giants of anger and addiction. We are intentional to constantly create the right mindset and allow ourselves to be part of processes that has the potential to renew our minds. We believe that relational connection is such a key success factor for every leader. And I trust that this session reminded you of the importance to connect to your people and then to connect your people to each other. So just to rephrase again, to implement this, as a leader, love your people well enough to give them your time. Secondly, check in with them regularly, weekly if possible. And thirdly, ask the questions, how are you? What is on your table? And how can I help you? And if there's time left, remember to ask the question, how are you really doing? And be a relational connected leader the return of this investment outgrows any return that I am aware of.